Today, I'm going over three things that you can do with the Nest second generation temperature sensor, which we've got right here. The first thing that you can do is use it with your Nest thermostat to control the heating and cooling in a specific area. So we've got this labeled as office and that allows you to control it with this temperature sensor. So you can actually set your Nest thermostat to either hold it to whatever temperature the Nest temperature sensor is set up or whatever the Nest thermostat is set up. Number two, you can use this to better balance the heating and cooling in your home. What I like to do with this is that you can set it in a room and then turn up your heating and cooling and then adjust your vents throughout your house to get the heating and cooling more evenly matched throughout the home. And that's one of the biggest benefits that I have seen for this. Number three, you can add multiple sensors in control multiple locations to give you a more accurate reading of temperature throughout your home. And then you can average those temperatures so the Nest thermostat will then hold it to to the average temperature for all those locations. So how you would do that is if you've got multiple sensors, we've just got one here, you select both the thermostat and all the other temperature sensors that you have, and then it will hold that as an average position. So here we've got it 66 and 67, it would hold it at 66 or 67, but if the temperature difference was like 75 and 65, it would attempt to hold everything throughout the house at 70 degrees. And you can do that across multiple sensors in your home. So we've just got one connected, but you could connect three, four, five, or even up to six sensors and more. And then you can use those to average the temperature throughout your house. So I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you next time.